I so please, but I'm just going to just have it snapped beside each other for the moment, just to keep it as basic as possible. So now let's say I'm on this clip and I want actually for this to play in reverse. So if I just click play just to show you, you can see that they're all going forward. And I want to actually click reverse. So what I'll do is just click on this icon here on the segment, the segment properties icon. And now that opens up the segment properties for that particular clip. So in here what I can do is I can reverse the clip, I can slow it down and I can speed it up. So first of all what I'll do is I'll show you how to reverse it. So this icon here is play in reverse. So I just click on that and you'll see that the video is actually automatically changed. So I've got the play in reverse button turned on. I'll close down the segment properties icon and I'll just click play again. And now you can see everybody's going backwards. Okay, now I'll click on the segment properties again, turn off the play in reverse, close it down, and now when we go in here, you'll see they're going back forward again. So just to play any clip in reverse, just click on the segment properties, click on the play in reverse, and then click play. Another thing is, okay, I'm just going to take the play in reverse off here, and I want to slow it down so it's in slow motion here is the adjust play rate button so it's a pot that you can actually just holding down the left button of your mouse you can just bring it down so here I'm gonna bring the play rate down to 25 which is the lowest it can be and then close down the video now because I've slowed it down the 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 segment has become um, longer so what I want to do is just drag it out until I get to the indicator that shows me that the clip is at the end so you see there there's the clip at the end so you can see the loop end icon is there and now when I click play you see the video is now in, in slow motion okay so just stop I click on the segment properties and if I wanted to go back to normal I can just right click and just say restore to, restore to default but because I've dragged it out and there's these indicators showing that the, the file is now looped I just want to go back and go back to the end so you see that file is now back at its end so I can just show you that again quickly just click on it bring down the adjust play rate to make it in slow motion and then expand the clip out to make sure that it's at its end because now we're making the file longer because it's slower. It's see it's in slow motion again. I'll just click restore to default, bring the clip back. So now let's say we want to speed it up. It works the complete same way, only the the play the play adjust rate pot goes the other direction. So I've now put it to two point five and you can see that the file has become slower and it's repeated itself because it's much quicker now. So I just want to just go to the area that it is at the end. So you can see the, the, the icon again, the loop end icon. And now I click play. And now you can see it's speeded up. I can actually make it go quicker. There's actually, um, it, it goes up to um, 8. So you can actually put in, let's say, type in 7. And you can see that it's speeded up quite a bit and then click play and it's gone through it very quickly again I can always slow this down to you know you can find the play rate that you like close it down make sure I'm at the end you see it's sped up so you just use the segment properties icon to speed up, slow down or reverse. So reverse and then the adjust play rate to speed it up or slow it down and then you just expand the file out to where you want. So I've got now four video clips added in. I'll just add it in another one quickly so you can see that I'm making a video very quickly. I can find the area that I want to edit out. So just this part of the kite, snap to end maybe drag this on a little bit 
and then copy and paste. And again, all these w these can be adjusted in length. You can click play, and you can see I have all my videos in there. So I've edited five pieces of video together on the one track. And again, double click to go anywhere you want very quickly. So now what I want to do is add a soundtrack. So let's go to my iTunes library quickly so I can add in a soundtrack. So um, that will be in music, iTunes, uh, iTunes MIDI downloads. Actually, what I'll do is I'll just find it in my downloads. So I want to use this track, I can just drag and drop it in, and the track will be parsed. So you can see the length of the track here. Now one thing to point out is when audio is brought into the mixing screen, it is automatically beat synced to the global tempo. This is because Track XPC is actually a audio mixer as well and a DJ mixing tool as well. So if you want the audio track just to play it its normal detected BPM, just turn off the enable beat syncing on this track. So once I clicked it off, it'll play at its normal detected speed. It won't be sped up or slowed down or bound to this global tempo. So I've now created a mix with its own soundtrack and edited clips out. And I can always expand or decrease the audio. And the nice thing is, just to give it a professional touch, I can just add in fades at the beginning and end. So I'm just placing. So to do that, you just hold your cursor over the very top of the clip, and you'll see the fade icon appear. And then you can just create a fade very quickly. So now that I have this, let's say I wanted to put a credit at the beginning. Now I can insert credits over video, so I can just right click and select insert video credits. So you'll see the credits show here. So what I want to do is write the cliff and I want to make it much bigger. Maybe, And I want to make it black because the text black because uh, I'm on a white background. And I'll just make this white. And then I can just position it anywhere I want. Like so. Maybe I'll just put it up at the top. So I'm just positioning the, uh, the text anywhere I want. So you can see the text is now appearing there. And I can always change the font as well. So maybe I wanted something a little bit more fancy. That one looks good. Close it down. And now you can see that this piece of text is in there. Now I can always move the text up as well. So I can move channels up and down. So I'm just going to place it on the first clip and then maybe insert a little fade so it fades in and fades out. So I'm just going to press play. You can see like so and let's say I wanted to put credits at the end what I can do is this button here is the auto selection tool so when I click on that I can just highlight everything and make a bit of space for it so they're all uh, being moved together and they've all kept their edits beside each other now I can insert credits in here so insert a video credit here and now type in Welcome to my my video. Like so. And I want to place the cursor over there. And maybe I want to 
use this snaz here. Text font. Welcome to my video, and maybe make it a bit bigger. And again, what I can do is position it and click close. And I don't want it to cross fade, so I just want it. I'm cross fading it there, so I just want it to go at the beginning. So then, I click play. And now you can see my text comes in, and now my video. So I've edited five pieces of footage. I've added text. I've slowed down a clip. Uh, put it in reverse. And now I can just click on the upload to YouTube to upload it to YouTube directly. Or I can click on the export button to export it as an MP4. Um, and save it to my hard drive. So uh, I hope that helps. And please don't hesitate to contact me with any questions at all. And... Um, we have a wiki that I'm going to send a few links onto as well, which uh, explains some of these in text that you might find helpful as well. I hope this helps, and uh, don't hesitate to contact me on the forum. All the best. Bye-bye.